Hello there and welcome to my channel, my name is Chantelle and I created a bad art piece and whilst my initial thought was to just delete all of the footage, forget it ever existed, close my sketchbook and just never look at it again, I also realised, you know what, this isn't Instagram, we don't need it to be perfect, we don't need everything that we share to be perfect and I do think it's important to really share when stuff doesn't go right, when you create a piece and it doesn't go great, you don't really like it, you don't really want to share it, like regardless it's happened we can't just ignore it you know i don't think it's exactly healthy to rip up your art and tear it and tear it away throw it in the bin that's not something that i would do but i also understand why people do but i think also it would help if we talked about this more often and we shared art that did not go well and we just talked about the entire process rather than just trying to ignore it and feeling like a failure because that is certainly how i felt straight after i created this piece and then i thought you know, we need to share this, we need to talk about this more often because you shouldn't feel like a failure for creating one bad piece. And even then, just because it's bad in your eyes, you know, I then shared it and I did actually find that other people liked it somehow. And, you know, to me that seems pretty unbelievable because I don't. But it's, you know, art is all perception, isn't it? And a lot of people just a lot of people have different views and some people sometimes when you think that something's gone really bad it actually hasn't so you know it's also i think that we have such unattainable standards for ourselves sometimes and we just expect everything to go so well especially if you've put hours of work in something i completely agree if you've put hours of work into something it can feel like a waste of time you know if it doesn't go well it can also feel like you know you're supposed to be good you're supposed to create good pieces and sometimes that just does not happen unfortunately and this piece was definitely it so i'm just gonna go through now exactly why because i don't think it's helpful to sit here and be like you know what i don't like this piece i don't like it i don't like it let's talk about what went wrong so to start with i'd never done a side profile i don't think it was exactly smart of me to go straight in with watercolor i probably should have done a load of pencil or pen sketches first of side profiles trying to work out the exact anatomy to get it correct and that's what I should have done that's what I didn't do that's what I should have done I should have got the practice in before going straight in with paint so that was my first mistake secondly I didn't have a plan there was no clear plan I didn't know what I wanted from the background and I didn't have a clear plan going in I think the background went a little bit too bright I think it should have been a lot lighter but then when the background started going a little bit funky and I didn't really know how to save it I added white gouache and I don't think that was exactly smart either I know sometimes in the moment we just sort of are like oh my god let's let's try and save it what can we do what can we do what can we do we'll just do completely random things and I do think sometimes especially with wet paint you sort of do really random things that aren't always the right things because you're kind of in the moment and freaking out a little bit then also when this piece didn't end up going well i decided to use it as a test piece so again i tried the white wash in the background i've never done that before i freaked out and was like you know what let's try new things i also reached for my metallic paints and i added a load of metallic which i probably added too much sometimes metallic can make a piece look a little bit tacky if you do too much and you don't do it well that's what i did in this instance i added it to the kind of bandana hair tie and then i added it to the background and that was too much i shouldn't have done that i think the hardest part of this though was the fact that it was sunglasses and so the entire side portrait had a shadow across the eye and i just kind of thought you know what i'll just be able to color that in in just a really dark shadow and it doesn't really need outlines and it'll be fine and that wasn't exactly how it worked because the photo i guess did have a slight outline but the light was so difficult trying to replicate the shadow of the sun hitting the sunglasses and then going around the eye like that was so difficult and i think for the time that i'd allotted for this piece and the time that i wanted to spend on it and you know the experience that i had it was really difficult to try and do that so I just kind of did the entire thing as a big blur rather than trying to make the eye appear that was really difficult sunglasses I think I might avoid in future because that was really difficult especially at this angle that was that's just a nope 
you know, it wasn't lit up very well and it was quite a difficult reference photo as well. Um, so maybe that's another part that I possibly shouldn't have done. It was at this point that I decided to grab a lid and just try a load of random stuff for the background. I dipped it in paint and then dipped it on the paper. That was random. I think I saw it on TikTok, but again, it wasn't going well. So I just thought, let's just try and rescue it in any way possible. And we couldn't. But regardless, this is how it turned out. You know, it's not great. It happens. We move forward. We know what I, like, I know what I would do different in the future. And I think it's still important to share that not every piece that you create is going to be great. And even if you don't like it though, it's also perspective. Other people might still like it. Not everything's going to be great. And it's important to create the bad art in order to move forward. Thank you for watching. Um, me create this <laughs> and I will see you next time bye bye